joined by Mr. Henrik Henriksen, Global Vice President, Escania. So, Escania has been here in India for around two, three years. You have invested around 40 million euros in India for your plant, and you are selling around 300 units of buses and trucks. What is your, new, what is your next level of work in India? Yeah, you're correct. We, we have been here. Uh, actually, we started uh, a few years earlier than that with a very successful cooperation with L&T. Uh, but we have then put in our own sort of uh, industrial presence since three years uh, in Bangalore. And actually, this month, on the 31st of March, we are inaugurating our uh, new bus factory, building uh, uh, long-distance coaches, uh, so so that's going to be exciting. And I think after that, we we have completely the first phase of our investment uh, in India, and uh, you can say that we have the plans in the drawer for sort of pushing off the, the next phase as well. And that will depend on on how the market is developing in in India, uh, but it looks promising. Uh, I think the the mining sector where we are in now, uh, that segment uh, with. Uh, uh, the new clarification from the government and so on. There is a lot of opportunities there, especially in coal. So we see that taking off. And then on the bus side, uh, on the coaches uh, where we are in, long distance coaches, we see that segment growing as well with, with a better economy. So uh, we feel that uh, the Indian market is really going to take off. And, and uh, the capacity that we have today is around 1,000 buses and 3,000 trucks. And, and uh, I think we will fairly soon reach that limit. Uh, on the other hand, we, we have also built up the industrial system in India. It's part of our global system. We have one product wherever we go in the world, and that means that what we have set up in India is part of a global system. So uh, we have the possibilities to turn on an export sort of uh, uh, flow as well, when, whenever needed. Uh, and, and I think that uh, we have to balance also. So those two, the Indian market as such, with a strong growth now of 7 8%, we see that steady. And, and then the export opportunities will decide when we have to pull off phase two in our, of our investments. How do you see India as a market in your global story? Uh, it's today, it's, it's fantastic. I mean, today it's the powerhouse of the global economy. Where do you see growth of, of 8% uh, in, in the world today? hardly anywhere so I think and and the size of the market so of course we need to be here we need to be here because of the size of the market when it comes to delivering uh, vehicles services and solutions uh, but we also need to be here because of the supplier base and, and using India as a powerhouse as one of the pillars when it comes to our global production system so I would say that uh, it's definitely uh, one of my uh, pr top priority as, as a global head of, of uh, sales and marketing uh, to focus on. Uh, we, we need to have a strong presence here and, and very soon this will be one of our top five biggest markets and, and uh, from a production point of view I think uh, within the same time period it will be one of our biggest uh, industrial operations. Uh, India has been used for as exports hub for many companies. How do you want to uh, employ that strategy yeah, we are already now, you can say, cheating and testing a little bit with exporting to the neighboring countries. And, and then we talk about complete vehicles. Then it is the complete trucks for mining, or it is the complete coaches then. Uh, but uh, not to forget there is another flow for export, and that is since we have one global production system and product portfolio, if we find a good supplier in India, like we do now, when we are increasing the local content on, on the buses now up to 70 percent and the trucks up to 30 35 uh, if we find a good local supplier they immediately become part of our global uh, production system which means that they will export the, that component to the european and the latin american production system and that is a second flow of, of export that is just as important so so both these flows we, we are working on now and and, and uh, uh, they are just increasing day by day. For Scania, among global top global markets, where India will feature uh, three, four, five years down the line? Uh, I see it as being uh, on the on the bus side. Uh, it will be our biggest market globally within five years. It will be number one, and within uh, trucks, uh, it it will move up uh, close to the top five markets of, of the world.
what would be the units uh, in terms of sales that you expect for bus and trucks as well? Uh, it, it will depend very much on how the market develops. I think one challenge that we still have in India is that the logistical system uh, needs to be developed further. Uh, if you compare how much India is spending of their GDP on logistics, you're talking about way above 15 percent. And, and that has to become more efficient. If that is happening, then our volumes will be uh, increasing dramatically. And, and that is basically where we see India going. We see that India uh, will develop the logistical system. And that's why, maybe compared to some of our competitors, we, we are using the same product portfolio in India as we do in the rest of the world. Uh, we believe that India will need uh, sort of the, the, the best type of uh, transport solutions which will require our kind of products and that that development will go very quickly. So we don't see any need to, to develop a tailor-made product for, for India because this development will go quick and, and then you need a type of solution that Scania can provide both for buses and, and for, for, for trucks. And we see that today. We see that today in mining. That is already the case. That's why we are successful there. And we see that in long distance coaches. And the next step here will be city buses, where we will go in with a different kind of approach. And, and I'll come back to that. Uh, but it is um, this will define how big the volumes will, will be here. Uh, but uh, as I said before, this will be one of our priority markets going forward. Uh, city buses. I have to mention that. Uh, it, it is a, it's a very exciting things happening in India now. We, we, we see that there is a window of opportunity to, to really promote renewable uh, biofuels. And, and, and we see both when it comes to bioethanol being produced by uh, rest products from, from the agricultural sector, like straws from the, from the rice, or from sludge uh, being used uh, as, as waste putting into production of, of, of uh, bio CNG. So our approach here now, when we go into the city bus segment, is not only to, to, to promote uh, a city bus as such, it is to promote a complete system where you produce the fuel, you provide that fuel into a, a, a public transport system, and, and you provide a turnkey solution, which will then address a lot of the challenges that we, that we have today in, in India. Uh, you will produce the fuel locally. You don't need to spend forex to, to import uh, uh, oil. You will then uh, create uh, local job opportunities in, in the uh, rural areas. And you will provide a transport system that is run on a CO2 reduction compared to diesel of up to 95%. Uh, and that, in all in all, will also create a more attractive public transport system which hopefully can reduce also congestion. So I think it is tick in, in a lot of boxes. And, and this is sort of our next step in, in the Indian market. How, 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 what is your sales and marketing strategy for your products in India? How do you, will you sell? Will it be through dealership network or how? Uh, yes, it will be. Uh, it will be. Uh, however, when it comes to this uh, system solution for the cities, uh, like I described now, where you have to include both production of fuel and and and, uh, and then also a a complete uh, transport solution w uh, for buses. Uh, there, I would say the customer very much becomes. Uh, you need to get the local government involved and and the city involved. So there, that I would say is is one type of sales. But then you have when it comes to the mines, you have a different kind of sales approach. You need to work towards the big mining houses, the the, the operators. There you can use. Uh, uh, where, where we work together with LNT, together with their strong sort of network of, of organization in the country. And then you have the on-road uh, buses running sort of long distance. There we need uh, a dealership. Uh, and there we are expanding with new dealers uh, every sort of quarter uh, in, in the country. And um, so you can say, depending on the segment and application, city buses, long distance coaches, uh, and mining, it is a little bit a different distribution model. But long term, I think we, we, we need to, to, to work with all of them uh, and, and grow them. And I think we have today a good balance. LNT is working very well for us. Uh, the approach we have for the cities feels solid. And, and the dealer network that we're building up to support the long distance coaches 
uh, is, is very successful. Uh, thank you so much for talking to us. <laughs>